Hey there, today while surfing through some mathematical stuff, I found this intriguing equation. Now, it says that limit of x tends to 1 of minus ax plus sine of x minus 1 plus a upon x plus sine of x minus 1 minus 1 to the power of 1 minus x over 1 minus root x now it says that we need to find the largest positive value of a so why it intrigued me so much uh, let's do it let's solve it and then uh, you'll know so we can write this equation as limit of x tends to 1 and then uh, by taking a common we can write it as a into x um, <clears throat> uh, sorry um, a into 1 minus x plus sine of x minus 1 great and uh, over x minus 1 plus sine of x minus 1 to the power of this can be written as 1 minus root x into 1 plus root x i hope you know the relation that a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square okay so we can write 1 minus x as this and uh, then we have 1 minus under root x we can cancel these two terms and then uh, we can write this further as limit of x tends to 1 of um, x minus 1 can be taken common so we can write it as x minus 1 and therefore a will become minus a plus sine of x minus 1 upon x minus 1 great over x minus 1 into 1 plus sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1 okay and uh, this to the power of x uh, sorry 1 plus root of x now we know from the identity in our uh, calculus classes that limit of x equals 0 or, or x tends to 0 sine of x over x where x uh, is such value that sine x tends to 0 then we then this can become 1 actually okay so this can become 1 so with that relation we can uh, okay and here uh, here x x's value is just 1 okay here x value is just 1 so here uh, x if we put 1 so it, it becomes 1 minus 1 0 okay or if we do not put it 1 but like uh, 0 0.999 something like approaches to 1 so we can put it over here and it will become uh, something like near to 0 so sign of that term that is x minus 1 just tend to 0 so that's why we can then set in this equation sin x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 1 uh, remembering this identity and even in the denominator so finally we got the equation that limit of x tends to 1 or x approaches 1 of x minus 1 can be cancelled uh, out from here and then we can have it minus a plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 uh, over uh, means to the power of 1 plus root of x now we are free to substitute 1 in place of x over here so we can write it as minus a plus 1 over 2 to the power now 1 plus root 1 equals 2 so that is 2 square now this is equal to 1 by 4 how because in the equation here they have given this equals 1 by 4 so that's why then we can now just uh, manipulate this equation and we can get a the value of a so what we get let us see uh, let's put these two into root square square uh, square root on both side so this will become minus a plus 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 
this two will get cancelled out so minus a equals plus minus one into uh, sorry minus one so we yeah, are this one will come here you know be, being minus so we can get minus a as um, plus one minus one zero and minus one minus one is minus two uh, this can be cancelled out so therefore we get two values of a one is zero and the second is two now here as you can see that the largest value is two the equation could have uh, would have been solved however the thing which makes this equation so intriguing is uh, is this twisted point so actually its answer is not two okay this is the wrong answer its, uh, its answer is zero and why so so before un understanding this thing uh, you need to pay attention on a concept okay so uh, let's take a number three by two okay uh, let's take another number let us say five by two maybe okay uh, let's take one more number let us say seven by four okay um, then we have what um, we have one more number yeah um, that is mm, yeah let us say nine by nine by let us say twelve okay so nine by twelve and these four number now i will take something so if uh, i take a okay and let us take four numbers for four consecutive numbers a b c and let us say d so here if i raise a to the 3 by 2 and then i will write b to the power 5 by 2 i'll write c to the power 7 by 4 and then i'll write uh, d to the power 9 by 12 this can also be written as under root a and the whole raised to 3 okay this this is uh, th this should be written as this okay um, the way you write it as this it's actually not uh, fully correct okay not entirely correct so yeah the the same goes with b it will be this and then the same goes with c this is fourth root of c the whole raised to 7 and then the 12th root of d oh this is too much and yeah to the power 9 okay or actually this can be uh if i further so 3 3s are 9 and 3 4s are 12 so it is uh, basically you know so it is basically um, fourth root of d the whole raised to 3 okay yeah now this term is defined okay this term is defined if i'll take uh, four let us say so if i'll take four okay then square root of two and then three then i can um, put it as as two raised to three okay that will be eight fine however however if i would have put minus four over here can i solve this term can i solve uh, under root of minus 4 the whole raised to 3 yes I can solve it how I can write it as this into this and then that will be uh, this I hope you know this term this is called as iota and uh, which means imaginary number so minus one is imaginary number sorry under root of minus one is imaginary run number so this means whenever okay and this goes with all the terms okay even with b if c if c is negative okay if 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 d is negative so what i am trying to say if a is uh, less than zero then we can have minus a and if we put this to the power of some 3 by 2 let us say so that is generally minus a to the power of odd by even then we can get this okay we can get the answer but it's imaginary answer that means this is undefined in real terms okay this is undefined in in, in real world so that's why we cannot define the root of any negative number okay the nth root of any negative number which is even okay where n is even so if we are uh, setting a negative number to the power of odd to the to the power of a fraction which is odd by even we can uh, the number is undefined now it is very important for you to remember this one if a negative number is to the power of odd by even fraction then it is undefined remembering this 
I can write a term okay we, we, which we got while solving the equation we got uh, minus a okay minus a and then we have I guess plus 1 yeah minus a plus 1 and uh, raised <coughs> upon 2 and the whole raised to 2 uh, I mean square okay we have done that but instead of writing square I will write 1 plus under root of x okay where we were having limit of x tends to 1 and that's why we substituted 1 over here okay and that is the reason okay it's though x is not equal to 1 but still we substitute that number okay that is 1 in in place of x there and uh, and why we are doing so well that's not the subject of this uh, video i will make the video on it later <clears throat> but for now it's just approaches 1 so by keeping that in mind okay by keeping that in mind we can get uh, a fraction okay a, a decimal over here so we can get let us say 1.9 uh, <coughs> sorry we can get 0 0.9999 something like that and that's why this whole number will not equal to 2 it will be something like 1.9999 something like that but it will not equal to 2 but it approaches 2 so because it's a fraction because it's a fraction okay like it's 1.999 so so definitely it's a fraction okay it's in just in the neighborhood of that two okay just in the neighborhood of that two uh like approaches to approaching two and which neighborhood it's the left neighborhood of two because one is smaller than two so it's the left neighborhood of two which is 1.999 uh, as we have considered it it is not uh, clearly uh, one that like that it's not clearly one and it's not clearly two it's in between those and uh, the numbers which are in between one and two like in between two whole numbers they are uh, they are they are fractions okay they are not the numbers they are just the fractions so here i have made a fraction now for 1.999 okay let us take uh, it up to five decimal places so i can write one plus under root of x equals uh, equals let us say 1.99999 okay up to five decimal places uh, okay yeah and therefore one plus under root of x just approaches two because x just approaches one that's why so this number can be written as 199999 over 1 2 3 4 5 so it can be written as 1 lakh okay so it can be written as um, 1 lakh 99999 over 1 lakh now if i will place this term okay a plus 1 over 2 to the power 1 uh, i mean 1 lakh 99999 over 1 lakh then yeah then we have a term but in a general way this is odd number and this is an even number okay and you need to remember this one over here so it is odd by even and we are getting odd by even fraction okay and we have two values for a that is 0 and 2 as we previously have concluded that 2 is the largest value so 2 should be the answer let's try and put 2 in place of a so we get negative of 2 plus 1 by 2 um, to the fraction o by e that is odd by even here you get minus 1 by 2 so it's negative half odd by even watch this let's consider half equals x so this is negative x okay where x belongs to uh, the set of integers okay so here you're putting a number uh, to the power of odd by even so this will become undefined as we have studied previously so this will become undefined so 2 makes the term undefined that's why 2 is not the correct answer however if we tried 0 at this place plus 1 by 2 and this is one uh, like odd by even then this term is equal to half to the power odd by even or we can write it as half to the power of 19999 over 1 lakh now you just have to grab your calculator and calculate this term and uh, for sure you will not get any imaginary value you will surely get 
an integ an integral value okay a real value so that's it friends that's what i was trying to say that though it seems that the answer is 2 but the answer was 0 and why here this arrow okay this arrow to which we name as approaching to so here x appro x was approaching to 1 this is a trivial concept of calculus uh, which is neglected many times by the students or you know uh, some calculus geniuses but that same tiny concept has immense importance in some problems so such tiny concepts could have this immense importance that was the thing which um, which made me mad about this problem <clears throat> and this was what i wanted to share with you so thank you and uh, i'll meet you in next video thanks for watching